Hey, oh, cheeky babes, here we are at the new little, your new little destination. Oh, they're making a bit of noise. This is our stand that we made here a little while ago. She settled in a little bit. I might actually lift that post up there because I wanted it leaning forward, so he's not done too bad. But of course, a bloke didn't get back here and make the other one, so we're only halfway organised. So we had a few more bees than we needed. So next week we might dig some holes. My offside, I said he's a bit too slack to do it with his hands, so here we are. We'll have to come back another day. <laughs> Right, now, let's see. Oh, a little one. What's that? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had honey. Hopefully this little, hopefully all the little piggies have honey. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? I'll put that down here. Oh, fuck it out. Oh, sorry, I'm not allowed to say that word. That's the heavy bay hive. This stand here, I thought it was going to be in the shade, but it's still a bit jolly hot here. <whistles> Hopefully, we're still alive in here. Here's our ladies Ooh, swimming around in my shiny silver bag. Now, I reckon I might just go and grab a pair of gloves just because they're going to get a bit cranky ass when I take the lids off. I guess we might as well start at the beginning. Now the go is, of course, we've got our ladies in here that we just did a minute ago. We've got our frames and some bees, and our queens are in our little cages. So the idea is you pop your little cage in the box of bees, and then they should take about three days to eat through the little wax bit, and then away you go. And hopefully when we come back here in a month or so, they'll be up and rocking. Yeah, they're a little bit distressed about what the fact that we've what the fuck we've done to them. So here you got the little honeycomb. Well, it's basically a candy that they've made. So out of sugar and a bit of, uh, heated it up a bit, and then you just want to pop that in your in your hive, and then the the bees in here are obviously eating on this, and then the girls will eat this way to get them out, and then um, away you go. It's probably more expensive than making your own queens, obviously. But the goal is you get a get a different bloodline. Like these girls are a little bit shitty ass, so I'm trying to make a bit better blood or a bit better, you know, breeding. If these girls are proper bred bees, so these have been young William from the Bunyip bees. He's got these and he's bred them in a nice environment, so they're nice and pure breeds. And so those queens will send their genetic. They've already been mated. So they'll send their genetics into this colony and you'll end up with nice, beautiful, relaxed, hopefully productive bees. Interesting thing just then as we're doing these new queens, I just noticed the girls, as soon as you put the new queen in there, their hum changes. They seem to hum a bit different. They're like, they were really quite a bit nervy and now they're sort of like going, ooh, ooh, a new boss. And they're all sort of singing a different song. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? So anyway, we've got one girl left, one girl left in the shopping bag. So we'll have to go and find out somewhere for her to go. 
I mean, if we really wanted to get crazy, we could split that into three. So we thought we'd come back here with our extra queen and have a look in this box. We were going to do it without these suits on, but they don't like us, so we'll just lift this lid up and see what's going on. Let's have a look what's going on. Not a big population, but I reckon there'll be enough in that middle there. Just looking at how many are in here, and I'm guessing there'd be a, still a few field bees out flying around. So there's probably enough in this centre bit with the two bits we had left behind. So we'll put the girl in there and see what she does. She's got to go somewhere so she can go here. Pop that back together. And then all the field bees come back. And they get her out of there. They should adopt her and away they go. Then all we got to do is remember to move this one. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh. I think that all went really good. Like, but we'll find out in about a week and a half or so as to see whether how many queens got accepted. Um, apart from the fact that the weather's been a bit against us, I think it's all pretty cool. Of course, we've had yet another excitement. We've got to bring some water down for the new site because apparently the emus ain't drank it all. <laughs>